Hello and welcome! This is my house. It's rather nice. It's got this giant living room with some plants, some books. We've got a little bathroom in here with a bath and sink and stuff. What else have we got? We've got a kitchen with some lovely jars of stuff and cans of chickpeas and meatballs. Got a washing machine here, a nice looking hob, some cupboards. It's all pretty cool. A uh, nice big TV. Through here is a hallway, uh, which leads to my bedroom. And then we've got the garage, which hasn't got a car. But, well, maybe one day, you know, we'll save up. And that's it, really. But there's one big problem with this house, because I want to sell this house for good money. And the big problem, of course, is the garden. <laughs> it is a horrible mess. So let's uh, let's fix it up. Let's make this garden something to behold. So first thing we need to do is clean up all the trash. So let's just go around and dispose of all this crap, all these planks of wood and cement. I guess this is all left over from when we built the house. Maybe I don't know. Uh, there's tin cans. Oh, a skill point. Mmm. <gasps> okay, we can see dirt on the mini map. Nah, we're just gonna go with the long range trash disposal. What are these? These pallets, get rid of them. Oh, this is left over from when I panelled the house. Lots of weeds, lots of bottles of stuff. I need to sh dig up this stuff and I, I don't know where we put this. I guess we're just like putting it in a wheelbarrow and then taking it to the tip, but we don't see that part of the, the process in this game. God, what a big part of crap. Okay, that big pile's gone. Let's go back to cleaning up these trash piles. Got all these bottles. Goodness me. There's tons of weeds as well. I need to work out how to get rid of those. All these bushes and stuff. It's just not the best looking garden. How did it get so messy? Unbelievable. All right, I'll get back to you when this is all cleaned. And then we can start working on the garden. All right, so all the trash is gone and uh, all the weeds are gone, but there's still a lot of stuff here, like all these little trees. Can I just chop this down with an axe? I don't know. I can chop these big, big, big bad boys down. I'll get one of these maybe. Yes. Yes, destroy the trees. Do I want to keep any of these trees? This one's kind of like a bit manky, so I'll get rid of this one. I might keep ones that look nice. Maybe I'll just keep one tree. Oh, oh, my house. Careful, careful. Well, it's just sinking into the ground. Goodness. <laughs> can we just sell these these trees? Oh, we can. Yeah, there we go. Let's just get rid of everything. Everything on the map. Just clean it all out. And then we can start again from scratch. Because it's really overgrown, isn't it? Good grief. Okay, so I've taken down most of the trees. I have left um, this big one here, which is quite nice. A couple of birches here. And I think that might be it. Yeah, it's all of them. So I've taken down a lot of trees. Next, we need to mow the lawn. So let's get a mower out and just start going ham. Getting rid of all this long grass and weeds. All the most of the weeds are gone. And then we got to start planting new turf because a lot of this is just dirt, not grass at all. So that's going to be a, a bit of a pain. But I think maybe we can... We can wait and do that last because I think some of these could be flower beds maybe, some of these dirt bits. Anyway, we'll see. I'll, I'll get this grass mown. Right, grass is all cut. Oh, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Like, this is just dirt. It's a nice lawn back here. Oh, oh, I say it's all cut. I've definitely missed a bit here. Let's just get the, uh, this thing out. Give it a little trim. A little trim trim. Can't get these bits. I think they're just a uh, decoration. Right, well, where do we go from here? Let's, um, let's think about this. We need to have a, a driveway that goes into the garage. We need to have paths so we can get actually to the front door, under the back door. So let's work on that. Let's see what we can do. I think we look in this uh, flower tab. Surfaces, wood shavings, gravel. Um, these are quite nice. These cobbles, I guess they are. Curbless says. Stepping stones, not useful for a car. Okay, look, there's one with a, a curb. Let's uh, let's see if we can... Oh, look, you can change the colour of them as well. 
Oh. Hmm. I think that this one's the best, surely. Right. So, we could work out where the car would come out. Out here. Oh, you got to place them like that? Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, this could take ages. Alright, let's just get this done. Oh, look, it fits pretty perfectly there, which is nice. Let's get the outside done and we can fill it in later. Okay, that driveway's down, but there are these weird gaps here. Is there a smaller one? Yes, look, there's a thin one. Okay. Oh, it's still not quite... Oh, it's not actually fitting, weirdly. Oh, no, there we go. Oh. Oh. Ah, there we go. Right. That's our drive. Now we want to have a path that goes around the side to the front door. Should we use the same material? I think so. I think we will. Now, do we want to have a gap here for, like, some plants? I say... I say yes. I'll we'll have, like, a little... I'll have a planter there. That would be good. Or should we work out how big the plants are going to be before we put this down? How do we, uh, how do we do that? Let's have a look. So, plants. Now, this is all stuff I can plant in the ground. Is there some kind of bed decorations? Ooh, ooh, there's some nice lights. Oh, we'll put some of those down by the, where the car's going to go. Oh, how do I line these up? We need, like, a grid, really. Just gonna have to eye it, eyeball it. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I'm hoping for like a flower bed. Oh look, there we go. Oh, there's loads of pots. Oh, as a well. Okay, cool. I think it's just this one. This looks good. It's not quite the right size. And there's not a small version of it. That's a bit of a shame. How long is the long one? Oh, very long. Oh. Could look nice. Okay, can we just... I guess we'll just have, have to move this more central. Let's just do that for now. And then we'll have... Yeah, we'll have a pot here. That'll look good. Can we change the colour? Oh, we can. Nice. Go have a, a lovely teak... Teak flower pot just there by the door. And then we'll get some um, more paving stones. And this is the front door. I guess we're going to go kind of this way around. Uh-oh. Trouble. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if I could... What, what's the uh, the short one? Is that going to give us much space? Let's have a look. It's quite thin. If I put two of these in, that might... Let's just move this light and then we'll see what happens now. Okay. Yes, that works. Good. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Look at that. That's terrible. Oh, the grid in this game is a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Oh, it does fit. Oh. All right. Good. I'll move this back to that corner. And we'll try and make that one the same. Good. Okay, we have a front door off from the garage. Right. We put some plants in this plant pot. We want flowers, really, don't we? We'll have some. Uh, we'll have some purples and some whites. Uh, let's put. Let's put some of these down. If we get something big either side, actually, it might hide the fact that this flower bed. Oh, look, I can kind of just. Oh, look, I'll get a bush here. We'll hide the flower bed somewhat. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, that's perfect. That hides just right. Maybe I'm squeezing some other flowers there. Oh, there we go. It looks nice. A nice little flower bed just by the door. We want to plant for this box now, don't we? Let's move the box slightly. What should we put in there? Let's put in something like... Oh, this thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's a bit dark for gardening, isn't it? Something over here could be nice. Something like a, a centerpiece, like a pond. We could go for a pond. Yeah, look, there's an oblong-shaped pond. This one looks good. Oh, this is a big pond. Big old pond here. All right, let's get that pond placed. Got to dig a hole. 
Dig a big old hole. Yes. Hole dug. Let's put the pond in it. There we go. Cover it with some soil. <laughs> it's a weird way of doing it, but it's done. And then we've got to fill up with water. There we go. Looking pretty sweet. Now I want to like cover the edges so it doesn't look quite so fake. Oh, I'm in the pond. Oh, it's nice. Uh, we could have like a little bridge going over. I wonder if we could like combine two ponds to make like one big pond. Which one do you think? This one looks quite nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. All right, let's get that placed. Ooh. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, can I? Is there like rocks I can place down that can like hide the edges? Oh look, stone. They're called stones, not rocks. Oh, they're huge. Oh, I can't put them anywhere near the pond. Maybe we just use f plants. Let's get some nice lights here. Uh, where's the lights? Yeah, here we go. Outdoor lights. Turn them on. Oh, it's beautiful. It's looking nice. I think we can just have to surround us by with plants. Large cherry. Okay. Oh, that's pretty large. Let's get the cherry tree there. And then we'll plant it. Dig a hole for it. Pop it in. Cover of soil. Give it a nice water. What a cherry tree. Yes. Alright, a couple of cherry trees done and dusted. Hmm. It's kind of just weird having this bridge to like nowhere. Should we get some like rocks down? Oh, stepping stones. I saw them earlier. Stepping. Stepping stones. Oh, they're a bit far apart though. Stepped chopped stone. Stepping stone chopped. So they look exactly the same. Let's go with Sandy. Oh, I see. They're like. Oh, I see. They're like this. Are they just ran. Are they not? Are they not different? Oh, no, they are different. I was just unlucky that I got the same shaped one. Ah. Okay. All right. We've got a lovely little thing going on. Let's get some plants around it. Let's get some plants around it so it looks a little bit less fake. Some like we need some kind of big bushy plants, but not that big. Kind of. Uh, Decorative grass. Oh, look, we have some like, some like reeds. Maybe is that kind of a reed? Oh shit, <laughs> that's huge. Uh, no, we're not gonna go with decorative grass. I guess it's gonna have to be flower bed. Oh, look at that, that Japanese maple. <gasps> we gotta put that in. It's gonna look well good. Get in the whole tree. How's that look? Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Okay, flowers. Let's go back to the flower beds. And then we'll find some big ones. Oh, the vines. Oh, the vines look good. Let's get them against the house. Put them here. Oh, that's good. All right, that's looking pretty nice. Should we get, um, should we get some turf down? Maybe. Or we could kind of, how do we do that? We kind of, we can have like a, let's get this bit turfed at least. Let's see how we do this. Let's have a look. Turf roll. Big. Okay, okay. So I can kind of pop it down. There. And just roll it out. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, it's huge. Oh my goodness. How far can it go? That far. Hmm, getting this around the pond is going to be tricky, isn't it? I really maybe should have done it all first. Okay, maybe if I go for a different approach here and use something like um, gravel or, or surfaces. We use, uh, the, I saw it earlier, like a wood chips. Wood chips, wood chips. Bark. Bark, here we go. It's because I think we can paint this. And that way we can... Yeah, that's it. There, there we go. But it won't let me put it next to the pond. Maybe if I go for the red. That looks okay. Weird red bark. 
Now, what happens if I try and paint lawn? Oh, why can't I just paint the lawn? <laughs> it's gonna get. It's gonna be a nightmare to get in the lawn over this. Oh well. Although if I can't, I can't put it underneath stuff either, which is fairly frustrating. Okay, I think that looks okay. I think before I do any more work on this garden, I need to re-turf the whole thing, just so I don't end up with a situation like I did here, where I can't paint stuff. So let's just, um, let's just do that. Let's just turf the lot, and then we can figure out, we can move the turf later. We can get rid of it, you know? But at the moment, we just need some. We rolling out the turf. It's gonna be, yeah, so I can just do this, and then I can round off the edges with the, with the, um, oh no. I just ran over my plant. <laughs> <laughs> I can fix that later. No big deal. I can just paint these edges to make them smoother. All right, this will be fine. This will work. Okay, there we go. There we have it. We have done the turf on this bit here. It's looking a lot nicer now. There's a couple of bits left to do. I'm just going to roll them out. Just little bits, really, here and there. Scraggy bits that need to be fixed. And then we obviously need um, a path from this back door, because that's leading nowhere right now. Oh, it's getting dark again, that's no good. I wonder if there's a way to speed up time. Or skip to the morning, maybe not. Now I think I want a hedge at the back here, like, like the side hedge. Can I just buy a hedge? Now what hedge is that, do you think? Should we guess? Um, well, it's pretty close. Yeah. That'll do. Oh no, it still won't fit. Oh, why can't I clip through stuff? I'm about to buy a new bush. I have to buy a new bush for that corner. Uh, no problem. Plants. We want a big, a big shrub. That'll do. Good. Dig a hole. Now there's so much space left in this garden. It's gonna take me forever, I think, to do this. So I might just have like a big lawn. Oh, I've got a skill point. Uh, axe, increase axe speed, mole hills visible on the minimap. Oh, I could have used this earlier, turf laying speed. So yeah, we've got this like nice little area here, but it's really quite small compared to the rest of the garden. So maybe we're gonna have, we'll have a lawn, a lawn here, maybe we can put some flower beds side the side of it maybe. And at the back here, we'll have a path going along the side. We need bits here as well, because these are nice nice glass doors that go into the living room. So we'll have a path that goes along the side here, back to here, have some flower beds there, flower beds here, and maybe we'll have like a um, a deck, a nice deck around the back. Yeah, we, maybe we can have some like vegetable plots this side. All right, let's get on it. Let's start off with putting flower beds along this lane here. I think we're gonna use um, the bark again because that seems to be a good way of putting down what looks like dirt, but it isn't. So we'll go with square bark, red, by many, and then hopefully we can just paint. We can go in a straight line, that would be good. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> that's not good at all. <laughs> Gonna have to re-turf that bit in a minute. Let's just, yeah, this is it, this is it, we got it. Nice very dark now. We could put some lights down. Um, we could put some lights down. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go with um, lantern, yeah, solar lights. Maybe some classic ones. I'll buy a lot of these. We'll get these down along here. Turn them on. How's that look? Oh, it looks good. Putting down a bunch of flowers. I'll mix and match and then we'll have a nice little flower bed that goes along here. That'll look pretty sweet. Gardening at night. This is all this is all about. Right, what's next? We've got, we got some of those. We want some pink ones. Oh, they're in a pot, though. Maybe we don't want the pot ones. Uh, we want... Oh, we could get some... Uh, roses. Roses are good. Everyone likes roses. <gasps> they're huge. It must be a smaller rose. Multi-floor rose. We'll have red ones. Very romantic. Oh, no. Okay, the... The flower bed is too small. We're gonna have to make it bigger. Okay, we've got some rose bushes. Lots of them. I can start selling those on Valentine's Day. Get loads of money. Right, let's get a path that goes along this side now. So let's just extend this one, I guess. 
Okay, so the path's done, and it's lovely morning. Um, we could probably put some like plants in here later. Maybe just leave it. That's fine like that. We want something here though, this big empty space. Now I was thought about making a lawn, but maybe I could do something else. There's something in here, there's fences, you see. There's these like gates and fences. But there is this gate thing that's kind of funky. I could make like a nice sapel gate. Not sure how that's gonna work. I put that like on the other side of the stepping stones, and then I could use the fence version. Um, how's that gonna work? I put that there. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Alrighty, there we go. We have a nice little walled area. Okay, we want some vegetables in this area, so let's uh, let's start making some paths, and we'll get um, we'll get some vegetable plots going. Let's see what vegetables there are. If we go to plants, and we go to edibles, uh, do, 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 there's lettuce, carrots. What does a carrot look like? It's just just oh, it goes in the ground properly. Okay, that's good. Uh, I have a spare carrot now. What else? Um, there's parsnips. Tomatoes, strawberries, raspberries, zucchinis, pumpkins. Oh, there's loads of stuff. Blueberries. There's like fruit trees. Okay, so we're gonna make a lettuce, carrot, cucumber, tomato, zucchini thing. So we'll use these as the beds. Hopefully we'll fit three in. And then we'll have uh, just rows of these, I guess. All right, so that's a good kind of position. I guess, and then we'll have this extended out all the way to the other side. All right, carrots are done. Carrots are done. Let's get some more things. Uh, what about some lettuces. Gotta love some lettuces. Pop them down. Just gonna do this quick. They don't grow perfect in lines, do they? They like grow weird. All right, there you go, lettuces. Delicious, what's next? How about some zucchini, no, cucumbers. Cu oh, jeez. They don't look, they don't work. Fine, fine, finally fine. We'll delete all our hard work here. Like that. And, uh, and here. And then well, I think we'll, oh, look at that. I've ruined a bit of grass, that's annoying. Um, and then we'll go for we'll go for these like parsnips. I know they won't look much different. Oh, they do look a bit different. Okay, that's good. And we'll just put some parsnips down, and now we can put other things down like the zucchinis and the cucumbers. I have a patch of cucumbers here. Let's have the pumpkins over this side. They look cool. Oh man, look how awesome they look. We could have some strawberries. We'll have a strawberry patch here, perhaps. Yum, yum, yum. Gotta love strawberries. Okay, it's a little vegetable garden. It's looking good. Now we gotta do some kind of, some kind of like flooring to it. Oh look, what's these pebbles? Oh, well that's cool. Can I put these around here? Oh yeah. No, it looks like shit. I'll put a few down, maybe. Especially on this patch of grass I didn't fix. It's looking okay. I mean, it's not the best. It's not the best, but it's the best I can do, I think. Okay, well, that's our vegetable garden. I think it's quite nice. Have some, like, lovely column-cut conifers going all the way down the path. I like that. Okay. I'll get this planted soon. What else can we have? This is quite a nice little area here. Not quite sure what to do with it. But the back, the back is what we need to work on next. I think we want a swimming pool here. Ooh, this one looks all right. Oh, they're quite expensive. Hell with it, we're, we're getting it. It looks nice, it's pretty. Uh, we'll go with a, a dark blue and we'll pop, whoa, whoa. This thing is big. I think maybe this isn't the eye. This isn't. Oh, oh. It fits there. Okay, good. I thought there wasn't any space there, but there is. Oh, this is going to be great. 
All is dug. Let's get the pool in. Very nice. Cover it up. Oh, fantastic. We have a swimming pool. It's at an angle. <laughs> it's at a weird angle. <laughs> I think. Oh, it totally is, isn't it? We've got, we've got to start that again. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it looks better. All right, let's try again. Okay, let's fill her up. Let's fill it up with a hose. Very nice. Okay. Composite decking. We're going to go with that. Fits better with the, the pool. I'm going to put it just alongside the pool, I think. Okay, so that gives us a bit more space next to the pool. Let's get some equipment. Okay, recreation. Oh, there's like play stuff. A pizza oven. Oh my god. Yes. Gotta have a pizza oven in a garden. Surely. It can have like a barbecue as well. We'll have the barbecue over here. Okay, that, that's a nice spot for it. And we want a barbecue as well. Uh, yes. There's the grill Vengel. Expensive but nice. Oh, beautiful. We want some, uh, we want a table. We want an outdoor table, outdoor furniture. We've got an outdoor sofa. <sighs> or, oh, this is quite a nice cast iron table. There you go, have that next to the grill. We're putting food on. Here we go, there's a, there's a nice table. Table cross. Oh, it's huge. We'll put that there and we'll get some chairs. These look good enough. I have a nice green seat on them. This is what I wanted. I want to live here. This is great. Okay, we've got a table and chairs. We've got a pool. We've got a barbecue and a grill and a pizza oven. We've got a vegetable garden. We've got some nice lawn. We've got a lovely little Japanese style bridge over a pond. Some of the plants I did plant have been killed by my, my turf laying. Uh, we need to plant these conifers. Okay, let's do that. Oh, that's looking good. So you drive in here. Oh, there actually, there is a gate here, which is the main gate. So we kind of want to have the path going this way as well. So let's get that done as well. All right, so this is where you come in. And there's a path that goes all the way to the house. There's a front door here. There's no plants in this planter here. We need to sort that out. Just pop a few little tiny ones in. I don't know, some hydrangeas. Pink or blue. Blue hydrangeas. Oh, they are just huge. Oh, why why can't I find plants at the right size? What's the cheapest ones? These ones? There we go. Just pop a bunch of them in. Alright, that looks nice. That looks nice. Okay, the only bit we haven't really looked at is this bit along here and I kind of feel like it's fine it's kind of fine I think the garden looks nice I think we should just stop here I think um I'm gonna get mad otherwise the gardening really takes a lot longer than the decorating of the house but this house has definitely come along from what it was when I bought it I'm gonna put in these swings actually for the kids if there are any might be nice eh just need to assemble it Put the bolts in. Oh yeah. And then this top goes down. We put that big bolt in, this big bolt in. Swing ropes go on. And there we go. We just attach these and we've got some swings. That's pretty cool. Oh, hammocks. Oh yeah, we need a hammock. Maybe that's what can go here. Oh, that's a bit dark, isn't it? I think in this corner might be nice. Sand pit. Let's buy a sand pit. Oh, it's enormous. Okay. Where's the swings? We'll put it over by the swings. There we go. Then you can swing and land in the sand pit. That's what I used to do when I was a kid. Great fun. All right, we're going to submit our garden for a contest. There's four different categories. There's crop. Plants that have edible vegetables and fruits are key. So we could do that. Natural materials like wood and stone. Okay. Or oh, this one, the American one. Barbecue, swimming pool, sun chairs. They're only sun chairs. 
Uh, English, which is overgrown walls, romantic corners with benches, sweet smelling roses. I've got a lot of roses. Or modern. So honestly, I don't think any of these really describe my garden particularly well. I got a bit of everything except modern. We're gonna go with crop, I think, just because I planted so many crops. There's fingers crossed. <sighs> Plant selection. Oh! Oh, look at that! Plant selection, equipment, and layout. Now my, the value of my house has gone up by 42.5%. Wow! Okay, that's pretty good. Um, okay, so now let's put the house in the auction. Let's auction the house. Let's see, who wants it? So I paid 89 for it. Uh, I spent five and a half grand renovating it. 20 grand on furniture. Sold seven grand of furniture that when I first moved in. And there we go, I make a profit of $108,000. And we might be able to negotiate it higher. Let's see, the Smoth family. They say babies love to put their hands in, like, literally there's only one bedroom. Um, I'm not sure why they'd buy this place. But, they have the highest offer. Uh, let's see if I can push it up a bit. If I can get another, I don't know, 10 grand. Let's see what they say. Hello, can I have more money, please? All right, they said yes. There we go. That is $122,000 in profit. We will accept that offer. Boom. Back to my terrible crap hole. But I have $352,000 in the bank. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.